Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and peace be upon you all. Welcome back to day three of the isolation vlogs. We've got a lot planned today as well, inshallah. So we're going to get straight into it. But before we do, uh, of course, if you haven't heard, there is new instructions and guidance from His Holiness Hazrat Amir al-Mu'mineen, Ayyadahullahu bin Nasrih al-Aziz, from the recent Friday sermon. If you actually haven't heard of those instructions or you just want a quick recap, we're going to do a rewind right now. 10 points on how to keep yourself safe from the coronavirus. Here we go. Number one, make sure that you're listening to the government and the health officials that are issuing daily guidance on COVID-19 coronavirus. Number two, make sure that you're taking care of the elderly around you and that the elders themselves should try and stay indoors as much as possible. Number three, make sure you're maintaining the hygiene in your house, whether that's cleaning your bathroom, your kitchen and the general surroundings, of course, in your area. Number four, make sure you're also cleaning your clothes and trying to change your clothes every single day. Number five, a bit of a tricky one, make sure that you're getting the right amount of sleep, whether that's six or seven hours for adults and eight to nine hours for children. Even more importantly, go to sleep on time. Number six, make sure you're abstaining from foods that have preservatives or chips and crisps in general like this. Number seven, make sure that you're keeping yourself hydrated with water every 30 to 45 minutes. Number eight, make sure that you keep washing your hands regularly and properly as advised by the government. Number nine, whenever you sneeze, make sure that you're covering your nose with a handkerchief or a tissue. Finally, and most importantly, number 10. Make sure that you are praying for everybody around the world that may Allah protect all of us from the virus and heal and cure those who are affected by this epidemic. All right, guys, hopefully those instructions will stay with you. We're going to go straight now into the life hack section. Today's life hack is going to be very easy. It's actually going to be something that even hopefully I can do myself. And that is to do with bananas. And all you need is a banana or a few bananas and aluminium foil. Hopefully you have these things at home. And what this does is actually helps you to avoid the ripened marks that you sometimes get on bananas especially children when they see them they sometimes tend not to want to eat them so to avoid those marks appearing on your banana what you simply have to do is get a, a little bit of foil and simply wrap it around the stem of the banana making sure that you've fully covered the foil around the banana and this actually helps it to not ripen as quickly as it would have otherwise done and this is because fruits and vegetables generally, they emit a substance called ethylene, which actually helps not only the fruit itself to ripen, but the fruits around it to also ripen as well. And it's actually quite interesting because if you want uh, an avocado or some tomatoes, you want them to ripen quicker, what you can actually do is you can put an apple uh, next to them in, in the same bag and that will help those fruits ripen a lot quicker than normal. Now, what we're gonna do is I've got one with foil on it, one without foil on it and we're going to leave these for a few days and I think in the, in the vlog a few days later we're going to see how this actually turned out and see if it was actually successful. Let's just hope I don't accidentally eat these bananas before that. Alright guys, now we're going to quickly experiment with some quick food tips and tricks. Today we're going to make some hummus and I'm sure a lot of you have probably tried hummus outside from the stores elsewhere. Maybe you haven't made it at home yet. It's something that is a delicious treat, not only for adults but also for young children as well. It's actually surprisingly a very good source of uh, plant-based protein and it's also very high in B vitamins and also in iron as well. So very good. Let's quickly show you how that is made. All right, guys, so the hummus is ready. You can have it how you want. You can even have it on its own. You can have it with other meals. Some people like to have, add olives to it as well. You can have it with pita bread or, or naan bread as we're going to have it right now. Remember, the prayer before eating a meal is Bismillahi wa ala barakatillah. The translation is uh, below. So we're going to now quickly try and see how this turned out. Bismillahi wa ala barakatillah. Alhamdulillah, that's turned out really nice. It's very tasty. You're probably now ready to do a little bit of exercise as we do every single day. We focused on our upper body, we focused on our core. Today, we're going to be focusing on leg exercises that you can do straight from home. And let's quickly get straight into it right now and see how that goes. <laughs> Allahumma, 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 Allahum
Alhamdulillah guys, we're now almost at the end of the vlog. That was the workout, but before we do end the physical fitness section, there's a small challenge which I'm showing you right now, which you can probably challenge your friends and family if you're at home to see how many of you can actually do this. It's a very fun activity and it's a good activity to get your legs working, get your legs pumped. Right, before we move on, let me remind you that if you have made anything that's quite cool at home, whether it's arts and crafts, whether you prepared a nice meal for your family, or whether you're working out in a very interesting way, do send in your videos and photos of how you are doing it and what you are doing, of course, on the number below. And inshallah, we'll be trying to share that with the rest of the NCA online viewers in the days to come. All right, guys, we're now gonna end off with a very short story for the vlog today. And today's story is for everybody who's at home during isolation. You might be alone at home. Uh, you might not at times have much to do. And unfortunately, this can be a very dangerous time for us as well because we can be at that time, be most vulnerable to satanic thoughts, evil thoughts and inspirations. So of course we should keep ourselves busy in positive things and try to do good things, which keep our minds uh, busy and away from negative thoughts. But beyond that, uh, there's also many other factors that can affect us as well, such as being proud of ourselves and being very arrogant at times can be things that creep in on people without them realizing. So it's always very important that we self-check ourselves every single day. Have we become uh, something that we don't want to be? Are we grounded? Are we humble? Something that we should always do. And we should never think that it is beyond us to fall into this trap. We can even see that Jesus, peace be upon him, uh, in once in his time, Satan tried to, of course, put these thoughts into his mind, but he, of course, pushed Satan away immediately. And we can also find a story of Sheikh Sayyid Abdul Qadir Jilani, may Allah have mercy on him, and that is today's story, that actually once he said that he also was uh, subject to temptation of Satan. He tried to do it, of course, he was, Satan was not successful in doing that, and, the, and that story goes so, that uh, Satan came to him and said that, you are, you are so great, um, you have all of your prayers, have been accepted and everything which was forbidden to other people has made, been made permissible for you. You don't even have to pray uh, as other people do. So, you know, someone who might be susceptible to pride or arrogance might start thinking, yes, I truly am so great. Maybe I do not have to be bound to all these laws that normal people are bound to. But of course, uh, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani Sahib, may Allah have mercy on him. Alhamdulillah, by the grace of God, he wasn't like that and he was humble in his mind and he immediately rejected this uh, thought of pride and thought of greatness and said to Satan that by God go away how can something which was not permissible for the Holy Prophet وسلم, be permissible for me and of course Satan immediately vanished after that so we should always remember to stay humble to stay grounded and remember that all the blessings that we receive in our lives are solely due to the grace and bounty and blessings of Allah Almighty so may Allah enable us to help those around us. Stay safe, stay well, stay healthy. And of course, we'll be back tomorrow. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment below with your feedback. We love to see that every single time. And until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and peace be upon you all.